Welcome to another episode of Wicked Easy Cooking. My name is Chef Colin Roach, and today we're going to be filleting fish. I've had a lot of comments and, and asks for seafood recipes, fish, shellfish, a lot of those. So I'm going to start doing those in the next couple weeks. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Really appreciate that. And make sure you hit the bell because then you'll be notified when these new videos are released. So I thought I'd start out with filleting some fish. You know, here in Florida, we're blessed with bountiful year-round uh, great seafood and fish. I go out on my boat, take my boys out, we go on the reef, we catch all kinds of fish. Specifically, snapper. Lots of snapper here. Gray snapper, vermilion, lane snapper, red snapper, yellowtail snapper. They're everywhere. Great tasting fish. Now, I do want to give a shout out to my local fish purveyor, Captain Clay and Sons, here in Delray Beach, Florida. Awesome. They have great product at reasonable prices. And it's been really stormy out there lately, so I haven't been able to get out on my boat. So I swung by Captain Clay's, and he had these wonderful snapper here for me, which I'm going to fillet. Okay, now when you come into filleting fish, there's the round fish, which we call you know, round fish because they swim like this. You know, they, they chase other fish and try to eat them, right? And then there's flat fish, which actually start out as a round fish. And they're really small. And then what happened is they turn and they lay flat. This would be like flounder, sole, halibut. And what they do is they lay on the bottom, kind of buried in a little bit of sand. They wait for some little fish or unsuspecting fish to come along and they jump out and eat it. So they're not chase, they're not prey. So, but either fish is fine, it's just there's a little difference when you fillet them. Flat fish, because they turn, their backbone's still down the middle, they have four fillets. Two on the top and two on the bottom. Round fillets just have two on each side. Think of them as like cheeks. Down the middle is the spine, and on each side of that is a nice big fillet of pure muscle, pure meat that we're gonna take off of this fish. Now this is true with this small snapper all the way up to, you know, large salmon. You know, it's the same thing. We want to take this side off. So to do it, we're going to need some knives. I like a sturdy knife, you know, to get through the bones, to get the fillet off. Then I like some kind of flexible knife, fillet type knife, to get the skin off. So, you know, but you could do it with any knife you have. I've done it with some, you know, pretty crude tools before out at, you know, fish camp or hunting camp and stuff. So you make do. Now, while I have the fish, I just want to tell you, if you're going to buy whole fish, don't be intimidated. You can do this yourself or, of course, ask your fish vendor to, you know, go ahead and fillet it and clean it up for you. They'll take scales off it. They'll do whatever you need. But to be able to tell that a fish is fresh, one, smell it should smell like the ocean, you know, like a day at the beach. Look at the eyes. The eyes should be, you know, really bulging and bright, not, you know, hazy and dull. Look at the gills. If they're still in the fish, they should be bright red, not brown or, you know, a dark red. It means it's getting old. Another way is to stick your finger into it. Push it. If it stays indented, the animal is starting to already decompose a little bit, so the muscle is already breaking down. But if it springs back or doesn't leave a dent, it's really good. So look, smell, you know, poke, touch. You know, and don't be afraid to ask the fish vendor when they have them hidden in those cases. Just say, oh, I'd like to take a look at that one. Could you bring it out here? And then grab it and take a smell and look at it. You know, instead of having them wrap it up and you don't see it till you get home. And then it's too late. Like, ah, it's an old fish. So uh, find that. Another trick I'll give you, and this one my wife uses all the time. And you can use it too. Just ask the person at your grocery store vendor, say, now is that fish fresh? Because my husband is a chef and I'm going to bring it home to him. If it's bad, he's going to flip. Even if your husband or wife or brother or sister, dad isn't a chef, say that. They'll go, oh, instead of getting rid of the fish that, you know, they got to move quickly, they may go in the back and get you something fresh. So try that. You know, just say, oh, is that fresh? Because my whoever happens to be a chef and they'll flip if I bring home, you know, some old fish. And then they'll go and they'll get you the best stuff out there. Okay, to start, we're going to take our knife. We're going to cut along the outside of the gill, kind of the collar along the, the head here. So we're just going to cut through this part. 
And then we're going to take our knife, and following that bone, we're going to go way up. And I like to make a little, you know, V right there in the head, because there's still meat here in the, you know, right up towards close to the head. So instead of going straight across, I always angle it a little bit so I can get most of that meat out. Once you have that, you can see this spine here. We're going to cut on each side of that. So to take it, go back up where you were. And at this point, we just want to make a little bit of a, you know, indent. You know, kind of along it. So I'll just pick this up and do it in steps here. So see, I didn't go in very deep, half an inch or an inch or so, just a little bit to get my mark. All right, and then we're going to move it down, keep doing it. And then when you get to down here by the, the tail, you can kind of stick your knife in. You're going to hit the backbone, lift it up over it, and then just come along the tail. Okay, so we're going to come in here, find the backbone, come up on top of it, and then just come out along the tail. And now I can just follow this backbone all the way up. Now you're going to hear some bones crack in here, and that's the pin bones. You know, it comes out through the ribs, so we're going to have to kind of go through those. I don't know if you can hear them. Hear those cracking and popping, just cutting through those pin bones. Not a problem. Then we open it up like a book and just ride down those ribs and take off our fillet. Cut through, riding on top of those rib bones. And then I'm just going to dis. So there we have our nice little fillet here. And then we can do the other side. So I'm going to do right now. This one's a little tougher because you have, you know, less. Um, because it's kind of laying flat now, but that's okay. We can still do it. Again, right along these bones. Put a tip of our knife in there. Keep your hand flat, so if your knife does slip, it doesn't cut you. And then when you get to that backbone, as I mentioned, go up on top of it, stick out the other side, ride down to get that last bit on the tail, and then come back up, go through those pin bones. Hear them? Okay, and then open it up like a book, ride down those rib bones. There we go. And then I got a little bit of you know, belly flap here. I'll just trim that off. Okay, so we've got our two fillets. Now, don't throw this away. You paid for this. Keep it. It makes a great fish stock. You know, that you can use as a sauce, or you can make fish chowder from it. You do a lot of different things. And if you're not ready to use it right away, that's okay. Just freeze it. Put it in a freezer bag, pop it in your freezer. And when you're ready to make some fish chowder, or fish sauce, a bouillabaisse, something along those lines, then you can just have that. So I'm going to put this off to the side. Okay, now to skin it. Maybe you want to keep the skin on. Some people do. It's very attractive. This has already been scaled by our fish purveyor. Some people put little slashes in it, three little slashes, because what will happen is that skin pulls and it kind of curls up the fillet. So by putting a slash in it, you know, keeps it nice and flat. And what you would do is just take this and put it in a, season it up first, of course, put it into a hot pan. You can season that and saute it and then serve it, you know, crispy, crispy, hot pan. Crisp that skin up, finish it like in an oven, and you'll have this as a nice filet. But I'm going to remove it totally because the dish I'm going to do doesn't really call for the skin to be on it. So we need to take that skin off. So what we're going to do is this is where that flexible knife comes in. It also has a thin blade rather than a thick blade. I'll save more meat and less onto the skin. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of along the board here, taking off that skin. So don't do it here, you know, way out in the middle of the board. I think you can see this because when your knuckles are there, it's going to you know, raise up off the board and you're not going to get a good flat surface. So I like to move it close to my edge of my board. Okay, and then we're just going to pull it right along. Now it's kind of not a sawing motion, but kind of a rocking motion while you're pulling the tail taunt or the skin of the tail and you kind of just slide it right off. So let's see if you can see that on the camera. I grab it. If it's slippery, get a little towel and then just kind of wiggle it right along. See, and there's the skin. Look at how thin that is. See it? There's no meat on that whatsoever. And then we have our nice filet. You can see it along here. Now the last thing you have to do is, is those little pin bones I cut through earlier where you heard that noise, and they're like right along here. 
and you can feel those with your finger. There's usually like five of them. If this was a bigger fish, like a salmon, we would use tweezers and we pull those out. Because this is such a small fillet, once you take your knife on each side of those little pin bones, and just cut a little V notch out, you know, side of that. And then you can just remove those pin bones, not really worth saving. So your fillet is going to kind of look like this a little bit. Okay, so let me do these other two fish. Okay, to start, we're going to take our knife, we're going to cut along the outside of the gill, kind of the collar along the, the head here. So we're just going to cut through this part, and then we're going to take our knife. You can see this spine here. We're going to cut on each side of that. So to take it, go back up where you were. And at this point, we just want to make a little bit of an you know, indent, you know, kind of along it. See, I didn't go in very deep, half an inch or an inch or so. Okay, so we cut up along here about on the gills. You know, there's a little collar kind of here around the head. Kind of went up on an angle here so I can get that meat down here in that forehead. You can see that. So I want to get all this little bit of meat in here. And then I'm just going to take my tip of my knife and I'm going to go on top of this fin here and just kind of make a mark on top of that. And then when I get to this point, I can stick my knife through and hit the backbone. I'm going to feel it. I'm going to lift up a little bit. So I'm going to hit it, lift up, and then go over it. Then I'm going to come down the tail. Okay, so poke it back in here, go up over it, come down the tail. So you can see this. Now the tail is removed, and there's the backbone right here. So I've just been riding along. It's like little bumps in it. And now I can just open it up like a book and come all the way down to the rib cage, going through those pin bones. I have to turn it here for me. So you can hear it popping through. Okay, and now I'm going to give you a close up here. So I'm going to ride down these rib bones here, taking this fillet all off, leaving no meat. Okay, and there it is. There's a nice fillet. And there's the carcass here. So you can see there's no meat on it. And there's the backbone. And then this is like the belly flap here where those rib bones are. So you just kind of ride along those. And then we can do the other side. But to skin it, okay, we're going to hold it out flat. Use my flexible knife. Get it started here on the tail. And then lay it flat. Hold the tail taunt. Pull it tight. And then just kind of wiggle the knife all along here, laying it flat on the board. There it is. Pull the skin out. You can see there's no meat on that whatsoever. Very thin. Don't really need that. And turn the fillet over. No skin on there. Now remember those pin bones. Here they are. There's five of them right there. Five or six. So we're just going to do a little notch on each side of those. A little V cut. And there's our fillet. Okay, and finish the rest of these. And that's all the time we have. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We would appreciate that. And again, hit the bell so you're notified when new videos come out. Thanks for watching. Bye bye now.